Hello everyone, hello, hello. Welcome to Making Maps. Today, we're back with the old roster. It's me, TH Pine, and Axum, making factories. Hello. And as usual, Axum is very tired again, so. <laughs> oh no, if anybody who had Axum being tired for stream on their bingo card can go ahead and mark that <laughs> one off. I mean, I don't think we ever had a stream where you weren't tired. I mean, I, I think I never like had an encounter with you where you weren't tired. So I'm like always tired. Yeah, it's um, it's like uh, it's like Bruce Banner from fucking Endgame. That's my secret. I'm always tired. <laughs> you're you're a sleep avenger. Yeah. Mm, I see. I see. Where is this going? All right. So, also, if you have your bingo card out, um, my my monitor music is. For some reason, again, not working when it was working last stream. It's just sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It's weird. And oh yeah, by the way, for all your lovely watchers, I have a te another technical question. Is the stream showing up for you on YouTube? Because it doesn't for me. Even though YouTube and Restream.io both claim that it's running, but I can't find it. <laughs> so <laughs> that's fun. It's not a big, big issue, but it's, it's a bit weird. It's a bit weird. Anyway, Axum, what are you what are you looking for? You're flipping through maps. I think yeah, looking I'm, I'm looking for something extremely specific, and I, it might be a fool's errand looking for it, but we'll see. Uh, yeah. So what what oh. are you looking for? I, I'm looking for a good map to do. If anybody played the boiler map from last week's update, I want to remake that, but not shit. And I'm looking for a very particular combination of main factory floor, office, and storage to like get my use case, so I can like make this thing and see if it's worth it. But the fact that it's taking me so long to like find a use case for it is pretty telling. Yeah, so we're just Do you don't have any 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 thing in the lever generation you could adjust to. I already flipped the levers as much as I could. Like, I turned okay. off servers because servers doesn't isn't compatible with what I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. So I already, already turned that off, but like at this point, we're just waiting for the Tetris pieces to line up properly. It's like, basically what I'm looking for uh, is a situation where you have, like, office down here and then the main floor and then, like, shelving up here so I can like, link the two. That's kind of what I'm looking for, but I end up with not that. Because I always try to like, especially if I'm trying out a new room, I usually a this is tall, this is tall as fuck. Yes. Uh, I usually try <laughs> to come up tall. with a very like a very specific use case and make a map mm -hmm. that way, just to see if it's like a viable room. And then if it is, from there I start to weave it into. Yeah, see, if storage and toxic were flipped, this would have been good because I could have put it right here, mm. but. Uh, I, you basically boil out, is this worth making? Because then you can start exploring, like, what are the... How does it interact with the other rooms? Because it's like, this is the interaction I'm looking for. Uh, see, this this might have this might have worked, but it's just too fucking tall. Like, it's too long, and these two are right next to each other. Like, office needed to be up here, or storage needed to be rotated like this. Level generation is great when you're not looking for something super specific. As soon as you start looking for something specific, it's like, all right, well, I guess I'll just be here flipping through my deck of cards that oh, has yeah. infinite cards. That's how it goes with uh, procedural yeah, generation, it's, right? Yeah, it's That's... all random. Yeah. Yeah, see, <laughs> you, don't... Like, to... yeah. you don't get what you want. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to get what I want. I might, I might just have to wait till we're not on stream to do this. Because a lot of these seeds I would actually use as a normal level. Yeah. I but imagine. because yeah, because I'm looking for something specific, I uh, I'm just gonna have to keep flipping through it, and that might take anywhere between five and five to half five minutes to half an hour to find the right seed. Yeah, yeah it's, it, these two just keep wanting to spawn. Like, I like this kind of combo though, because office is right next to here, but storage and it's like this like the map is like split in half. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep it or not.
Yeah, for me it was it was last week was interesting because I was doing the stream with Sandwich. Yeah. Uh, like just like creating killer houses, so much different. <laughs> yep. <laughs> to creating a factory, like there's there's more you have to think about in both tile set. Like you, not more, but different things you have to different think things, about yeah. each tile set. Yeah, yeah. Not that there's more, it's just different things. I mean, there is a little more you have to do in Factory, for sure. I'm not, oh, yeah. I mean, factory not sure if there's more to us, think about, but it's definitely more yeah, work. Factory takes us the longest to curate yeah. by far. It's like, you know, it's way too long. Yeah, I, I mean, the main the main thing in Factory, or the main difference I've noticed on First Glance is that, yes, just like Kill House, um, A, it spawns more stuff in rooms, and B, the rooms need less stuff in them because they're smaller. Um, yeah, with factory, so, it's just so yeah. it's so huge. So many big empty rooms. <laughs> it's yeah. just um, it's just because like a lot of the rooms don't have a solid identity, and even if they do, yeah. kind of like toxic, that it's oh, god damn it, they're right next to each other again. Uh, even if they do have a, like a solid identity, they're not set up to spawn yet. So like two floor toxic is pretty has a pretty solid identity. Yeah. But because it's not like a I do this 100% of the time thing, I can't make it spawn. Like, I can't like build assets to spawn. And you speaking know. of, that's actually something I wanted to ask you. Like, okay, so basically, we used to have like the one floor toxic, and now you're yeah, spray painting with I'm, the two floor toxic. Do you have like, is the plan to just transition or to decide to lock in on one of them, or could we have it in no, a way where it does No, you could still both? have both. I would make a separate wrapper, so you'd have mm -hmm. one with all, the floor is all toxic, mm -hmm. and then I would have another one where it's floor to, where it's like 1F. I'd have a 1F and a 2F variant. It wouldn't be in the same room. It would either spawn a two-floor toxic or spawn a one-floor toxic. So, so right now, it's just spawning generic toxic. Yeah. So so what with other rooms? Because I, I know that like the factory level generation is fairly... Like it's set up to be fairly restricted in what it can spawn. Would be like, would it be worthwhile explore, or would it be, wouldn't it be interesting to open it up a little bit more so we get a little bit more variety in the maps? I, I don't understand what you're asking. Like, I don't, if I remember correctly, like it always spawns an office right now, right? Uh, correct. But this is no different than uh, what you might call it, always spawning a club or a storefront. Yeah. Always spawning. No, no, I get that. That's but... the level of like. Yeah, that's what this is. So, that's what these two things are. Well, the yeah. variation we're looking for is what goes in the main space. Because right mm -hmm. now there's nothing solid. So this is why you see you're starting to see a wealth of different things that spawn in here. It's like yeah. shelving, no man's land, boilers, uh, containment, shit like that. Yeah, that's the variation we need. Well, like, wouldn't it be like? Couldn't we not have a factory without an office? I mean, we used to have factories without office. I mean, I, I could do that. I think it's I think factory is more interesting with an office because it provides okay. a focal point for two F fights. Yeah, but does every factory need one? I don't know. It doesn't. No, not necessarily. But I, I think it is it is an identity of factory, and removing it would be sad. Okay, that's a fair fair opinion. I was just wondering if it would be. I mean, yeah, it's totally worthwhile possible. to I just turn it off. like open up, open up the generator to do whatever and have more variety that I, way. I would have but the. Also... I would have, I'd have to manipulate it pretty hard. It would, it would be, uh, like getting a getting it to be a sometimes room. I would need something to take its place. Otherwise, you end up with like really tiny factories or really big factories. That's like, yeah. I, okay. I can't just slap this in our in the same wrapper as like yeah. these two rooms, because basically it spawns. The floor spawns like half of its stuff, spawns office, and then spawns its secondary shelving room. So basically okay. how it would work is it spawns its first main room, which could be containment or something else. Mm -hmm. Then it would spawn office, then it spawns shelving. So office ends up somewhere in the middle. I could move this into here, but you're going to start seeing like office way out in the middle of nowhere, and you're never going to see office kind of in the middle like this. Mm -hmm. It just won't. Okay. It just won't ever happen. And I think it's worthwhile keeping this here because it's interesting. Because it means you have to make a decision of do I want to, do I need to attack office because it has all these high sight lines. Yeah, yeah I, I guess. I mean, there has is a balance to be struck between like just having lots of different maps and not losing the identity of what factory is. So, be like removing yeah. arcade from C store. That's kind of what you're asking. 
Is can um, I remove so, sorry, I was distracted by, by Chad. What, what did you say in the last sentence? I said it, it, this would be the equivalent of saying, hey, can you remove Arcade from C Store? Is kind of what you're asking. Yeah, I mean, I would not. Like I personally would not be opposed to it. But yeah, it's like, like technically, yes, I could do it, but like we kind of need that open sight line to be looking into storefront at the bomb, which is why it's there. It's kind of. I guess it would need here. a replacement that's equivalent to that. Yeah, exactly. Otherwise, it would be hard to place bombs. It's like you're sure you're getting, oop, you're getting interesting variety, but there's le the map is has less things going on, which can be a good thing, but at the same time, it's less complicated. It could be kind of boring, so you never know. Just depends yeah, on how I you set up depends. your your pathways. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you're, you're probably right. With... You need to like having variety is good, but you also have to re you cannot just strip stuff out. You have to replace it with something else because it usually fulfills a purpose, right? So. I mean, yeah, like with the the example that I gave, if we stripped out arcade, like you're one less room, which is actually pretty important in the C store because everything's so tight. Yeah. Like, you're gonna end up in situations where power is gonna be like you're not going to be it's going to be really hard to place power because it's going to be either it's going to be in a red door room directly next to a red door yeah. in the green or pro potentially even the in the green door room like it's you end it like the amount of po the possibility space for me to place things and it feels like you have to work towards something goes way down it's just like well here's your free power here's your free i'd say here's your free bomb but we all know that's already happening yeah <laughs> um yeah, I think I'm just going to so, have to give up on my quest for a specific map. Revenant asks, actually, a technical, well, not technical, but a simple question. What's the thickness of the office walls? Uh, th these boys should all be thick. Okay. Let me, let me verify. Yeah, these are thick. Okay. Uh, let me, I believe these boys are very thick. I believe there's a oh, difference. Oh, okay. I'm checking, though. That would be... A bit confusing. Yeah. But, well, oh. I guess I look different, so... Where is it? No, these are set to thick. So here's the hitbox. So everything's all, all, thick? Everything's thick. However, if you shoot, like, if you shoot the frame, mm -hmm. right? So, like, right here, this part of the frame, that's ballistic, I believe. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I need to check. Like, I'm looking. Hitbox. Here's one. Yeah, the, the frames are very thick. Oh, very thick, so not ballistic? Yeah, I could change that to be thick for consistency's sake. That would be I didn't good. Know Do the they frame. overlap, by the way? Like, so... Depending on where I shoot, do I hit, like, two I of those hitboxes? I have to check. That's a good question. I have to check. I'm trying to find which hitbox it was. There it is. And no. What? They don't overlap. So, yep. The, I mean, uh, the but, okay. So, so how the does the game work? If I if I shoot diagonally diagonally through yeah, so that, if you can shot I hit like this? Yeah. Uh, you'd hit two hit boxes and it would stop the bullet. Oh. You're shooting through, through, okay. You're shooting I mean that's. Through, you're shooting through two awesome. thick hit boxes. Hmm. I mean the the solution for that would be probably to get rid of the frame, right, and just have the uh, hit box. Solution would prob like it probably be to remove these hit boxes. Yeah. And then just extend these out a little bit to yeah. clip, but yeah. I mean, then you're still was... running the same issue with multiple office walls next to each other. I mean, yeah, other, you're still yeah, you're still gonna run into that issue right here. Mm, like, yeah. and you you run into that issue in like a normal map anyway. If you're yeah. shooting at an yeah, extremely yeah, just... sharp angle, yeah. I guess. Oh, like, that's... if if these were interior walls, right? Yeah. yeah. Like you're still running into that same issue as well. I want to shoot through this wall, but I'm doing so to sharp angles, so mm -hmm. therefore I'm hitting two different objects. So it's probably just... kind of hard it's, to solve. It's it's an unfor yeah, it's an unfortunate like side effect of just how we do. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't makes. be impossible, but it would be would be qu yeah, yeah, it's quite a problem to solve. But that's like, a lot of yeah, yeah, that's a lot of manpower to fix. Other other floors in office are those thick as well i mean in most cases it doesn't matter i guess but... oh i don't think it matters because i think the under half of this is ballistic okay. i don't think you can actually shoot up but either way you'd be going through two hit boxes so yeah at thick it wouldn't matter because you it would stop the bullet it's double thick it's like two oh, thick walls is ballistic it's, it's two thick walls not very I found, thick i found it right there oh nice the unicorn is uh is is two thick walls ballistic uh, I thought two sure thick I, walls is very thick, but I'm not sure. I actually. thought I thought two thick walls was greater than very thick. 
I might be. Let like, me check uh, if the, what the what the what the community sheet says. Yeah, <laughs> you'd have the, you'd have to figure that out. Usually pretty accurate. I, I can ask Vince, but like the yeah. the values for it are hidden to me, so I don't actually know what they are. I can't just open up the drop down and be like, what value is oh, okay hit set to? So I can't see if it's like you know bullet velocity decreased by like one five ten twenty. You know what I mean? I can't see that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me go walk through all these steps. Actually, it doesn't talk about that. I thought there was something about that in the sheet, but I f don't find it. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure two thick walls stops bullets. It might be. It might be. If any, if anything would go through it, it would be the mo like something like the saber. Or the mob, yeah, mob saber. Uh, Le Gros are oh three. Yeah. High penetration weapons right now. Although well, and the, the neck was for one up, day yeah. in the private test branch, so. <laughs> Yeah, apparently Knack is get, might be getting upgraded to high velocity, boy. That would be fun. Haha, Knack, go burp. Brrr. All right, now for the long one. But yeah, basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put, yeah, um, I'm gonna put the boiler up here. I'm gonna have it mm -hmm. extend out to the middle, so there's like this island you can run around on. Uh. <gasps> Ooh, excuse me. And uh, I'm going to connect it to office and storage. So the only way to get into that room is via via one of these two rooms. So you're not going to be able to get up from down here. So it's this big raised walkway that gives you access to this island right here. I'll probably put a bomb down here. Okay. Uh, I think I missed a wall pass somewhere. I... Oh, no, I haven't gotten to it yet. I'm retarded. Uh, this might end up being a, a 1F toxic. Like, I'd, I'd strip out some of these... These boys... I may not strip it out, we'll see how it goes. But this is probably going to be a 1F toxic. Because it's not connected to anything to make it a 2F toxic. Because 2F toxics need... Yeah, it's not need, connected to office. Yeah, 2F toxics yeah. need other rooms to connect to it. I mean, it has shelving next to it, I guess, but... I mean, that's not going to be shelving. That's just the, oh. that's just the room label. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Remember, I'm making something new, so, like, I just yeah. don't give a shit what the level generator gives me. That makes sense. Like, again, the, the level generator is mostly here to create this shape, is to give me the, the room's yeah. interlinking and doing that shit. Yeah. So far, if I make boiler, I'm going to have, if I make boiler room a thing, I'm going to have to like actually sit down and figure out how I want the tiles to spawn. Cause like that took me way too long to like be like, here's a viable map for this, you know, for this yeah. idea. Oh God. It went through the wall again. Yeah. <laughs> it's because I, there's no, kinda... there's no, no, there's no nodes on this wall because uh -huh. it's not meant to have anything connected to it. So what this okay. thing does is it looks for a node and it if it goes, Hey, I'm, yeah. if I'm next to a, it, it, it chains off each other. So if it goes, hey, yeah. I'm trying to spawn this way, it'll see there's a wall here and stop because the, all okay. the nodes are set up properly. But yeah. because there's no nodes on this wall, it goes, hi, I'm going to go this way. Then it just goes, oh, fucking okay. Nothing's I'm stopping just... me. Well, I kind of like how this looks, but it's a bit weird to have shelving and toxic. <laughs> I mean, technically, shel uh, toxic has shelving that spawns in it. You know, the little half height ones that are always filled with the toxic stuff. Mm. Okay, we do the post room pass, the lighting, and then we'll uh, we'll start hand assembling our, uh, our smokestacks because it's gonna take me a while. Because I haven't made that shape before. I might. I think green room is storage. Yeah, I think green room storage. So when you put, up. like, okay, it depends. Like green, you're... red, red. It's, like, it's either green, red, green, red, red, or green, red, fan. One of the two. Mm -mm. Well, if you make fan, then toxic has no entrance. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's, I think it's green, red, green, red, red, with other, other red and toxic. Yeah. Because, like, okay. how would you even... What would that loot room? Yeah, look I like need to give. I need to give a purpose to toxic. Yeah. Beyond, like, it, I basically want to give toxic a sideline to bomb. I mean, you could put power in there, in there, but I, uh, that's the meme, though. I, 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 I have a love-hate relationship with putting power in toxic because it's like the only place I put it. <laughs> it just ends up working out that way. Yeah. I might actually put it like up here on top of the on top of the catwalk. I have to get my smokestack base out. 
Yeah, smokestacks are a really old item. I just, they kind of fell out of style with the, uh, they fell out of style when I started kind of redoing like the ideas of factory and like brought shelving in is when the smokestacks kind of fell out of, uh, like being like just being used constantly. They're a really cool prop. I really want to see them used more because they are so cool, but you know, big stroke. I just gotta find the right one in this, these mountains of colliders. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely a cool prop. Oh yeah, they stick through the roof and they've got the cool smoke particles. So when you're on the, when you're on the UAV screen, uh, you can see like the smoke billowing out. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also fun to play around, like, with the... Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if I want to do the double. I think I need to do the double. I don't think I can actually do a single, because the... It just doesn't line up that way. Okay. So I'm going to do some major surgery on this thing, so... Fucking strap in, we're going to be here for a while. So basically, I'm going to pull this guy out to about here. And then put another one on the back? Yeah, we're going to double this so it does a full loop. Okay. Okay, what have I done? It's clipped into itself. Stop it! Good thing I have an undo button. <laughs> Revenant suggests you should just roll with uh, two floor toxic being broken and put a pre placed wall chart to the bottom of toxic on the tarps. I mean, like I said before, I, I actually want to see wall chart. Like, I want to see if I can get the art team to do uh, the second half wall chargeable, so you can do a one floor or two F. Because if I yeah. if I go if I double down and decide that two F toxic is going to be like an actual addition, like I yeah. want to give people the opportunity to wall charge up here so they yeah, can exit absolutely. or just get a line of sight because that's really powerful. Yeah. So like, if you're up here and there's a catwalk, say just running along this because the exits, you know, back here on shelving, say, uh, I want you to be able to go, oh, well, if I blow blow this up, I have perfect sight line over, you know, bomb and straight into no man's land, and I want to put a wall charge here so I can do that. And it's like, I want to enable you guys to do that. Because it doesn't make sense that these 2F walls would have charges, and if this is at a 2F level and you're able to walk around up here, that you can't do the same thing. Yeah. Like, that's the angle I look at it, look at it at. It's like, I, I would like to do it, but I don't have the artistic skill to create the assets required to <laughs> enable 2f wall charge on the on those things I, that that would be a an ask for the art team yeah it still seems like the youtube stream is just invisible Oh, I know why. It's actually my bad. I've set it to Instead unlisted. Private or something. No, unlisted. Oh, that, that'll do it. Say. That. I so yeah, I know how that happened. Like usually, what I usually do because the UI is a little weird, um, a little broken. At least on at least on Firefox, is like when I copied the event, I initially set it to unlisted because the the copy window, like, doesn't really work. Um, yeah. So I just set it on listed, press save, and then go in the proper edit window, and then usually set it back to public when I have all the other fields fixed or filled in. And apparently, apparently I forgot to set it to public this time, so I'm going to stop complaining about YouTube now. Uh, it's my bad. <laughs> yep, there. Now it shows up. I like oh how one of those fault. slid into place and the other one just kind of took off. Yeah, <laughs> it's wonky. Well, I mean, this is the value of a good pivot. So, like, if I take this dude, you can see that his pivot is over here. Uh -huh. And it's yeah. there for a very specific reason. You can turn it. Yeah, just so you can semicircle it really easy. Yeah, that's nice. This guy does not have the same one. So I have to, to move him around.
So what's what's your goal with Boiler? Uh, I'm just trying out new just trying out new stuff. Honestly, like I don't really have a like high level meta plan. Okay, I want to see just... these things back, and I'm just trying to make like new rooms okay. because Let's... we need more very like. I'm trying to make the the standardized rooms for factory that currently don't exist, and trying to use existing assets to do that. Okay, so trial and error, really, just experimentation, Basically. exploration. There's a lot of experimentation. Yeah. Put you back here. I think that's okay. I see a lot of players uh, running around that thing during a match. <laughs> I imagine yeah. trying to catch each other, running back and forth to get an angle. Wait, didn't you just turn them? What yeah, made you I'm decide gonna, they're I'm, not I'm, I'm, cool? No, I'm gonna place them. Oh. Because I'm like, wait, I need these. Yeah. Okay. Stop clicking the floor. Ah! Yeah, uh, it looks interesting already, so we'll see how it plays. Yeah, I'll see when we get there. By the way, what did you do? What did you make last week on stream? Containment. Oh, yeah, right. I did, a, no, I did a containment room, and I forget what the other thing I did was. But I mostly did containment, and then I just made a map. I don't That's remember. Maybe chat can tell me. I, my memory is not the best right now. So, so what's the feedback on containment so far? Uh, it's been pretty positive. People like the... People like that. At least, I mean, this is based off the feedback I've heard. I mean, if anybody has differing opinions, please put in level feedback. But as far as I can tell, it seems to be a good addition. Like, uh, complaints were that it was hard to make callouts when people were inside the containers. Like, if they were in a specific one, it was hard to make callouts. Which in I the container. Had, <laughs> yeah, which I had a fix for. But um, okay. by color coding them. But overall, it seemed to be received quite well. It gave shotguns and axe and other close range weapons to play, which is kind of my goal. Um, I was hearing a lot of the auto shotgun felt viable on factories that had containment because it's such a maze, which was good. Yeah. Um, again, like the only like real piece of negative feedback I heard was that it was really hard to make callouts because it's just like blocks of cargo containers. So my temp solution for it was to give them colors. So like you have a red stack, a white stack, a yellow stack, etc. Mm -hmm. So did you did you decide on using the containment variant where the containers are separate, or did you go for the tunnel variation? No tunnel. No tunnel is too close to tunnel's fun, but it's too close to shelving. Yeah. Like uh, yeah, I like. I mean that's it. what also, we talked about two weeks ago. If I remember yeah, it's correctly, it's just it's it's way too close to shelving. So yeah. there's more to explore with containment though. Like I've heard a lot of people going, hey, it would be really cool if there was a uh like a one a one floor tall one, no container that you know you could get up to from office or uh -huh. shelving or you know, and it's like, sure, that would be cool. I just need to spec out like one, how does that look on the map screen? How does it read, et cetera, et cetera, because that's what we care about here. Yeah. I just like the idea of like running through the tunnels, but I, I see how it's too close to shelving. Yeah, I mean, I like that. I like that too, right? But I mean, the thing is, is there's always other like there's other tile sets that will happen in the future. I can take that idea and put it in another tile set. That's a very good point. In, yeah, we don't yeah, need like, to have that in fact. Yeah, right? like I can just put it somewhere else. Like the idea is fun. I can put it somewhere else, but like I don't want to double down on it in the same spaceship tile set. Tile set. <laughs> And then we'll have the vents. And everyone is sus. So sus in those vents. I 
actually have to make the pitch for the spaceship tile set. I think that's pretty fun. <laughs> Come on, here we go. Maybe space station, you have a little bit more room with that. Certainly not going to be any wall charges that lead outside the building. <laughs> that's for sure. I mean, in general, like, what do you blow to get it? Like, how would that work? I didn't even think about yeah, that. Fuck it. Like, yeah, and space station. Uh, let's Argus blow up just the door. Oh, no, wait. Argus just starts in zero G and they're floating around outside. I mean, we would have a good place for airlocks. Though, yeah, that's no? going to be a hell of a red door entry when you decompress the entire thing. <laughs> What if there was a headkit that let you breathe in space? Yeah, that, that wouldn't be specific at all. Uh, totally usable on all the tiles. <laughs> like, why do I have this thing? I'm in a C store. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, potentially, like, just like goofing around here, but potentially, like, with Defender Economy coming up, you could have something like where. You can only buy this item when you're on the spaceship tile set or something like that. And it's like super cheap or like not super cheap, but like cost like it's affordable um, and allows you to pass through a room that's otherwise otherwise you just fucking die. But then again, how do you connect that room to other rooms and make it like navigation? Like, how can you get from one room to the other? With like, do you have airlocks everywhere? Like, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to ask Neil De uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson on for advice on this one. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just kind of like the idea of a spaceship tile set, but I see how like the more I think about it, the, the more issues crop up. <laughs> the more problems welcome, welcome I guess the level line. There are more straightforward, interesting tile sets to tackle first. But one day. One day. Maybe. Do the big What's space update in here? 2077 with like spaceships and maybe we do space combat. Procedurally generated space combat. I don't know. I'm not sure what you would generate. Asteroids? Probably just asteroids. <laughs> Maybe a Death Star. <laughs> this thing is not lining up. It's like off by half, uh, like a quarter unit, and I'm really concerned. Yeah, it, it looks a bit weird for sure. Oh, um, there it is. It was off. It was the containing folder was lined up with the stuff inside oh. that was not. Okay. Well, <laughs> I remember one of the earlier streams where you had tried to get something to line up and it didn't, and then you realized that it was like. Uh, increased in size by like 10% or whatever. <laughs> yeah, the side's gonna do it too. So, where do these. Where will these staircases lead to? What's the plan? Here and here. They'll go. They'll start over here. And Branch then just. Out. They're basically just gonna form okay, a big office. Hill. And then. Yeah. From storage how yep. do you connect yep. that like they're gonna go like this and then i have a door right here i have like a door right oh, here. oh door right there with the staircase the on the other side yeah okay this is why i said it wasn't this room isn't really compatible with with servers mm -hmm. sorry adjusting oh god go away windows lock how did you get undone Okay, I think I'm missing, yeah, one last thing. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it looks good. 
very imposing. Yeah, yeah, I like how it's like, okay, it looks a little bit weird how it goes through the rafters, but... Don't worry um, about it. Nobody <laughs> looks up in video games, okay? <laughs> this, is a, this is a known fact. I mean, it's true. It's true. Now there's two of them. Fortunately, I have a lot of pre-set up like catwalk pieces. Yeah. Oh, this shit again. And oh, now. There we go. It's just these boys are off. Like, for whatever reason, this containing folder is zeroed out, but, like, the shit inside it isn't. Well, I never saw that sign before. We have a Lois Pro sign on the wall. Yeah, we have, this has been here for ages. <laughs> oh, I, I never noticed that one. <laughs> <laughs> tells you how much I pay attention to these surroundings. I mean, they're, I mean, it's just noise. Like, they're just decoration. Yeah. yeah. That's actually a good joke, good joke though. I like it. And now it's abstracted. <laughs> yep, goodbye. This is probably why you don't see it. Probably. It's all your fault. Yeah. <laughs> Players don't look up and devs don't read signs. Yeah, that's how it goes. I mean, nobody Spitting reads the facts. FAQs either. Yeah, I mean, that's that's my that's my life. Nobody reads. I mean, nobody honestly, I up. I did not put it together like a, like a comprehensive FAQ because I expect people to read it. I put it together so I can link it to people. <laughs> like an FAQ is a convenient convenient way of linking of inform or well, com um, collecting linkable information. <laughs> it's not about people actually looking in there on their own. I mean, assume a few people do. We never hear about them because they don't ask the, 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 the already answered questions. Because they actually looked it up. So it's kind of hard to tell how many people actually yeah. read them. I mean, this is fortunate with like the Discord analytics because I could see how many people actually went through to the dis went through that through that channel. Can you actually look? I, I mean, you can look through the like the the welcoming thing, right? Like, if you join the server, you yeah, you can this, see oh, who that's... clicks it. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. the funniest I mean, that doesn't thing about... mean they're not looking into the channel later, though. Yeah. So, uh, the but, funniest yeah, thing I good, think about the, uh, the little welcome out. splash. For, yeah, I want uh... to upgrade that, by the way, or like look over it if it's still up to date and stuff. It's but it's up to it's date. I fucked with it not yeah. too long ago, but you can still okay, look over cool. it. But yeah, my fa one of my favorite analytical pieces was like we can see uh, what when people get the hi, welcome to the server. Here's five channels you might be interested in. Oh, uh, we yeah. can tell uh, how many people clicked on, like who clicked on what by percentage. And then if they clicked on it, if they started typing in that channel, if they did something in that channel, my favorite percentage was, uh, uh, so the ones we have are like uh, the the rules, the rules channel, the, the ask the team channel, flex Thank tapes. You. And then I believe the last one that I found was funny was meme city. And uh -huh. the description for it is distract our developers with memes. And mm -hmm. that one had like, oh God, I want to say it was like a 5% click through rate. So like out of everybody that clicked on things, like there are 5% of people who wanted to share their memes with us. However, there was a 0% um, like I did something after I clicked this. So I'm like, why are you coming to our meme channel to share us memes? If you don't share us memes, <laughs> you're not, sh give me the, give me those memes. That's a, I, not... I had to, I had to, I had to get, uh, get their meme meme city channel to the to the backyard and like it had to be removed <laughs> so did you nuke me yes did you nuke I meme did. city oh my god I, you I nuked did. it yeah i nuked god, meme it's... city and il when did you when did you nuke meme city i i think last week oh my god i it just caused way more server? problems to, than it helped like it was no, just a mess meme city yeah, okay, sorry. so you, you will you will need to update uh, the, the, meme yeah. set. You'll, yeah, not meme set, but you'll need to update the splash screen because I think yeah, it's, it's going to error out right now because it doesn't. It, it was oh, yeah, it pointing actually, at a yeah, channel, it but it's not. Yeah, I'm just it probably is just it. like error, like thing not found yeah. or something. This like channel that. either no longer exists or it's no longer viewable by everyone. 
Yeah, should probably should put FAQ in there. Oh no, FAQ is in there. Never mind. So we yeah, have general like FAQ, flag saves, ask the team. Do we have we don't have a rules channel, right? We have a welcome channel. Probably should that one put that one in there. What looks wait? <laughs> Trying to figure out where I want this door. I'm trying to figure out if I want it here or if I want it like over here. If I put it over here, it allows me to kind of keep the distinction between I want to go this way and this way kind of different. So if you're pushing this room, you can you know you can go up this path without exposing yourself over here. But if I put it over here, it gives attackers a greater line of sight to clear this out. However, then you have an entrance here and here, and it all kind of feels like the entrances are in the same spot. So, like, you, you can't go go this way without exposing yourself to the door that I'm going to put over here. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's coming together, so. Someone says a couple bad apples ruin it for everyone else. Rip meme city. That's like here's the thing. If that would have been the case, would have would have made an attempt to do it differently. But meme city was like not like there was nothing of value in there. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> it's, it's nothing that was like. But my meme. If it would have been you process memes, okay, that would have been a different story. But it was just like low quality bullshit. <laughs> I believe we parts. call that shit posting is the proper term. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, but it, yeah. My memes. If are people no want to do shit posting, they should do it on a different server. <laughs> okay, incoming developer shit posting. At least it'll be due process relevant. I mean, we have a shit posting channel in our internal communication. So. Yeah, but I'll just put it in Discord. <laughs> we could. We could. How about we make a read-only? Um, Dev shit posting channel in Discord that people can read, but not write. In. People can see our shit posts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I feel that's not going to end well. Probably not. Man, this is going to be fucking Sightline City. Oh, Gabriel, were you the one person that made the do process meme? I remember that there was one in the channel once. Do you? Actually, on Reddit, I have few. Like, like once yeah, a see week, more on yeah, Reddit so... than anywhere else. Oh, this yeah. is gonna. I mean, there's disgusting. that's where you actually kind of find them because Mimsy was just like, a, like, a, a cesspool of scum and villainy. That was just so much stuff in there. Hmm. I might need to nudge this over one, so you can't see the entrance or i need to move the entrance yeah that would probably be a bit strong basically yeah, I, I just don't here. i do not want the site i do yeah, not want office to be able to cover back here it's yeah it's real gross so either i nudge this over or i nudge this over one of the i mean there's over. so many angles you have to worry about in factory already you probably don't want to yeah. create i usually only things. like i only try to care about the like the doorways because that's important mm -hmm. like going yeah I, I hate it when like you kick down a door and you get blasted from like a dude you can't see from across the map like it just feels bad man yeah so like i always whenever i place a door it's just like where do i expect you to be able to get shot from it's like from down here i'll be i can't cut off this sight line but at least you're yeah. not standing in cover down here yeah. like when you're shooting from this which is like an entrenched location like i want to at least get the attackers through the door so they can be out here then sure go ahead and shoot at them but like when you're standing in the doorway come on man but like like, there's this sight line I'm not going to be able to fix. Like, <laughs> just getting blasted from Doc. So, I don't know. I'm, like, I'm, con so I'm concerned about this one. I guess I'm just trying to cut down. 
Because at least if you kick this, like you're looking straight at the dude instead of getting hit from a real sharp angle over here. But you're going to get shot from somebody down here as well. This is a really dangerous door in general. Maybe I should do it on the, maybe I should actually do it on the side. Because if I do it on the side, you'll kick and you'll still be exposed to this boy, but I can always move everything. The challenge of making new rooms, Bion. Yeah, it's hard. Introduces many new things to think about. Like, yeah, if I have a door that enters up here, like, well, congratulations on fucking committing suicide. You have to pre-smoke that door to go through it. Which isn't the end of the world. I mean, at least it, it becomes a known, like, oh, there's a lot of sight lines here. Yes, it's more like it. If, you, if I nudge him over one, I just completely kill that sight line. Hmm. Yeah, that, that works. Is there now a sideline from the office door? Probably not, right? No. Not still covered. Okay. You'd have to be like over here. Yeah. But you're not Which behind cover. You're not behind cover at that point. I just like, if you're firing from inside, like this is technically a room, right? Like this is part of this structure. If you're being shot from the structure, I'm not too concerned. Yeah. But like, I just, I like to limit the sight lines between your rooms. Oh, that's I don't know good... how I'm going to, I don't know how I'm going to deal with this. <laughs> that's actually a good question. What's the thickness of that uh, boiler? Or of the smokestacks? The smokestack? Like, oh, what part? Well, all look at all the hitboxes on this. That's probably, okay. So that's ballistic. This is a lot basically. of hitboxes. So yeah, this is effectively ballistic. There's no way you're going to go through like six hitboxes. Because, like, this hitbox, like, I can look at the hitboxes, but, like, there's a lot, so dude. said to none. <laughs> I mean, hilariously, they could be. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> that's not due to any fault of... Okay, so, this, like, this black back boil... Ooh, that black boiler piece is fucking ballistic. Okay. This is ballistic. This is very thick. What are you? Are you a pipe? Oh, you're a pipe hidden somewhere in the middle. Probably. What's the hitbox three? What are the pumps? So a bunch of parts uh, are ballistic. All, all of these, are very all thick, of these so. pumps are set to ballistic. Okay, so no shooting through that. Yeah, uh, remind zero. me really quick the railways, like the the uh not railways, like the these these yeah. Well, the what are those? armor. These should be thick. Oh, they're very oh interesting. They're very, why the hell are these very thick? What the fuck? These have less penetra penetrable value. Excuse me. These these walls over here have less penetration value than fucking these that's that's <laughs> not right these should be thick that should probably be thick yeah it would be more i don't remember why they got set to very thick i remember i changed them a long long time ago and they just haven't been updated since. they look pretty like sturdy but still they do look pretty chunky but like again why is this wall less than this even if this looks thinner i suppose yeah but still like the actual thickness of this thing it's like they're basically the same thickness. Like this I mean, is actually yeah. this is the only piece that's like physically thicker. Cause it has this like it bows out like this. Yeah. Yeah, I think for consistency it would be good to have all of these be thick. Are there lights in here? Did you spawn a light inside? Okay, good job, level gen. Okay, now I get to figure out if I want to make, if I want to put a piece of shelving, like a shelving unit right here, and then put a bomb right here. Like, if I put a shelving unit here, I can block off the sideline easy peasy. That would but... probably be good, yeah. Trump said if I wanted or not. You, you could build, like, a, a tower out of uh, forklifts. Oh, yes, yeah, so the forklift tower, the tower of terror. <laughs> I still want to. I still want to. I like a usable scissor lift. That would be great. Well, I. I would. Okay, so if we're going into that territory, and we just a reminder for everyone who's not watching this stream regularly, um, everything that moves players around is like a, 
a, a big no-no for now because it requires an immense amount of engineering power. But if we're going into that territory, I, I would like for me more Sign important me would up. be conveyor conveyor belts. Moving conveyor belts would be my top priority. Uh, moving conveyor belts would have to change significantly. I mean, I guess. Yeah, like we'd have to redo the entire asset. Like it would no longer be able to like be the way that it is. It would have to change. Like this little like go up. Like as soon as you put like we couldn't put any object on it right like we couldn't put boxes it would just be for players is what i'm trying to say can we put the and there's there's it? loadouts that will spawn things we'd have to strip all of those because like what happens when it hits the end does it just pile up does it <laughs> fall like does it do so with they have physics? to loop How they have to loop around yeah but like a lot of these terminate in walls yeah, like i said i have to redo like i yeah, have yeah. to make this thing spawn a loop i mean uh, even if it's just for players it's that's that's good already I'm just a sucker for conveyor belts. I, I oh, I like I want games. Don't get me wrong. I want. I love to have conveyor belts too. <laughs> it's just like I don't know. I, I love play games like Infinity Factory, Victorio. Uh, I was playing the shit out of Dyson Sphere program, which is oh yeah, that's like, on my wish list for sure. Yeah, that felt it felt like Factorio plus uh, Astroneer, a little bit of Astroneer. Okay, I was I was not. Well, yeah, it was, I think I tried out like, Astroneer. Was not quite my taste, but not nah, like it felt like. It definitely felt like Factorio in space, though. It was real good. Yeah, I spent which is, most which is of my good. Weekend... I like space. I like Factorio. Sign me up. Yeah, I spent most of my weekend playing it. It was, it was fairly entertaining. It definitely gave me the Factorio vibes. I still need to play more Factorio first, though. Like the tech, it took me like two days to get through most of the tech tree, and I'm still not done yet. And that's like two solid days of playing, like for most okay. of the day, taking breaks to take care of the dog and play with him. But yeah, for the most part, it was just like Dyson Sphere program. It's yeah. Going hard. <laughs> really need to make more props for office yeah but then again he's getting redone soon so true true I he'll be getting an update that. whenever I hate those windows they, they need yeah, to... well yeah the windows are just ugly as shit but it'll yeah. be getting i think he'll be getting stuff done to him after we do the the shelving the shelving, like the shelving area gets redone yeah when yeah, it, when it trans good. transforms magically into pipe works or whatever name we end up coming up with it Why you know Zoom? Uh, giving giving factory a, a facelift would definitely be nice. Well, it's more like nice. he, he's he's being factory's just being given a room, like that <laughs> isn't toxic. Like out yeah. of the uh, out of the like yeah. rooms that are identifiable in factory, like it really only has three rooms that feel like they feel like they belong in the space, to me at least, which is office, docks, and toxic, like. The yeah. main floor like doesn't have anything going on. Yeah, it feels cohesive, and neither does storage. It's just a room. Yeah, and service as well. Yeah, so yeah, service as well. But I mean, I mean, service, service is servers, like, but it's like servers isn't yeah. that interesting to me. It's just no. a room. Yeah. It also, why is it in the factory? Server like, why is there a server farm there? I mean, to be fair, like <laughs> most warehouses, like at least the warehouses I worked at, like they had a server room. Like okay. when I worked at UPS, they had a server room, even though it wasn't the primary thing they did. You still need to keep track of information about things going in and out of your building. Yeah, like, that's fair. Like the back at UPS. Put it in like the cloud. You, yeah, back at back when I worked at UPS, like you'd go up a staircase and they had a permanently dark uh, server room. And you could see in through the, the window on the door. It was always locked, but you could see in and see all the, all the servers doing their thing. So, I mean, like, I'm not surprised that a factory has that it would have yeah, a server okay. room. I mean, if it's a warehouse, yeah, in a factory. I guess a factory needs computers. The thing as well. is, is office yeah. and servers share the same props, so servers feels a little yeah. less special. Yeah. So like I said, office needs to have new stuff in it, or servers yeah, needs to absolutely. be rethought. Something like that. So I'm still not sure what you're gonna do with Toxic, but I'm sure he's we'll just find gonna out be soon. like he's gonna have sightline directly on the bomb. Mm -hmm. So like, I'm just I'm gonna clean up these edges so there's the pool is in the middle, 
and then put a blocker in the middle so like you can stand up here and just cover bomb from toxic but i'll have a red door like for here so like if i'll just do it now wrong one goodbye The exponential copy paste. <laughs> it's just mostly the replace tool, but yeah, just moving those that two by one floor around. Yeah, I just I just appreciated how you like copy yeah. it, then copy it again, then select both and copy the, the double yeah, like copy both. Yeah, it's exponential growth. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like I've done it before. Like it's, that's that's so much a thing I would do. Like, yeah. <laughs> there, there's, I, I just like, I do these kind of things like every day, um, like in my daily life. I like optimize, like it's just every, a thing I do. It's not even effective, but I optimize like mundane things. Everything and, is an optimization problem. It just depends yeah, on how much effort basically. you want to put into it. Yeah, you can optimize for how long does it take me to pick out shirts in the morning. Yeah. Easiest way to optimize that is to buy all of the same shirt. <laughs> Does that like, make I, me more of a boring human? Maybe, but I don't have to think about this thing anymore. Like, it's more like so, stuff like I optimize, um, like my movement, movement in the kitchen, like which things and when to get them out of the of the, of the freezer or when to put things into the trash can because, like, so basically when I'm cooking, I like. I optimize to only open each trash can once, <laughs> which it doesn't help. <laughs> it's not like actually saving any time. It's just like, I don't know. It's just how I'm, how I'm wired, I guess. Okay, so that gives cover from Toxic. You have to be careful where you step, though. I mean, actually, no, you don't, right? Because you don't, you cannot just run into the pit. Uh, I don't know if you can run into that one or not. I didn't set that one up. I don't think like... you can. I, th I I experimented with it. Oh yeah, over these, the have, weekend. these have. No, I can see it. Yeah. These have raised blockers. Not all yeah. of them have it, but this one does. Yeah. You have to jump to get into, which means yeah, yeah you can it's see not really risk. Been, it's it's, it's a like fake a... it's a fake lip that you have to jump yeah. to get on. Otherwise, you can just run straight into this thing, and it feels bad, yeah. man. I mean, Video it makes magic. sense, but then like then at this point, like this could just be like, I mean, I guess it's floor you cannot touch without it being lock blocking line of sight. So Let's it's, be real it's though, something... half the time the fucking hurt boxes don't work on this thing anyway. Yeah. It's, yeah, that's why like I was said. Figure, like playing around with it because Simba and me were trying to figure out what's going on there. But um, then I talked like to I, said, I don't know who did I talk to Vince or Ozzy, one of the two, and they actually have a good idea of what's going on. But it's probably hard to fix, unfortunately. So, yep. I mean, we have to fix it eventually. It's kind of annoying. Kind of important. Yeah. But. But so are so many other things. So will the breaker? I was about to ask. Will the breaker be in toxic? Goodbye. No, because nope. of red door. It might be. I'm just kind of trying to figure yeah. out how I want to do the room. Like I'd, I'd put it up here if I was going to put it anywhere. So you actually have to yeah. push through this room. But, but like... even that seems pretty easy. I mean, I guess there are two sidelines onto that. You could bob wire off that pathway. Hmm. Could be fine.
I have a, I have a silly question to distract you from your actual work. What's the what's sure. the most obscure or weird thing in that menu down there in the assets menu that yeah. we oh. never use? Is there anything in there that's like funny, but n never actually oh. shows up in the in the level? Uh... <laughs> the watermelon. Yeah, the watermelon at all is still here. This is technically a watermelon you can pick up. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. It I love used to be yeah, in, the, in the defender room. Yeah, he's pretty obscure, and we never use him, but I know that's probably not the asset you're asking for. No, that's fine. It's, it's that's what one. came to mind, though, is the, yeah. the, the watermelon, uh, the networked watermelon. It's like yeah. the, the one-off, like, why is this a thing? Also, it used to be a rare, a rare spawn on sea stars. Right, yeah. It could it spawn, used to spawn stars, rarely which makes inside sense. of the, uh, uh, the deli cooler things. Like, it used to spawn in those. Mm-hmm. I just hate one floor toxic. It just it feels so boring to me. It just feels like another. I mean, room. this one has also just like a very bland design with just being the, tox He's... the toxic in the middle. Well, I mean, like, there's it's... just not a lot of items for me to put in here. I mean, it's yeah, like, also I have a that, shelving I unit. I have a big tank which I put in the middle, and then like that's yeah. about it. Like I don't. There's yeah. not a lot of variety. Like yeah, I have like could, this cool could need like little table thing, but it's like a table. Yeah, it could definitely need a few more things. It would be nice to have like a a pipe that like pumps toxic from the wall into the pool in the center or something like that. But then I again, mean, where would it come from? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it does it? Yeah, like there's a whole bunch of like questions you have to ask. I still want the like big toxic thing that shits out toxic from the ceiling. I think that would be yeah, the coolest thing. Yeah, that would be cool. Like, where does it come from? Uh, maybe there's a tank on the roof. I don't. Think <laughs> it has a water tower but it's filled with toxic on the roof I, I i don't know but like that's the type of shit that i want to see like i like don't think too hard about it it's here to look cool and be gameplay yeah. relevant control suggests a fallen over silo in the in the floor level toxic yeah i could do that i have to rework most of the hitbox yeah. like hitboxes and geo because i don't yeah, actually think the upper half of these things has any colliders like mm. player colliders on it because you're never supposed to be up there it's so like when you see them in the the big toxics, I'm using a different asset. Rather, they're not meant to be walked on. Yeah, which means a bunch of... Yeah, manual. see this hip... Like, the, the player collider is literally a big square. Mm -hmm. Like, these yeah. are all hitboxes, not, like, player colliders. Like, that's just for when you shoot it. The The player collider is literally this cube. <laughs> because, like, what it doesn't matter after you go up here. So, like, if I tip this on its side... I can only be up against the wall because there's no bottom face. <laughs> so you can just see into infinity. So like <laughs> it has to be up against a wall. I know. Optimizations right there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, same thing for the floors. None of the floors have bottom faces. It's just one less polygon that your computer has to render. And when you split that across, like, how many floor pieces are there? Like, yeah. that ends up being a lot of polys saved. Yeah, you optimize where you can, obviously. It's like, art is, like, pretty well optimized. It's, like, yeah. the rest of it that needs that's, a That's why the game is not taxing on the GPU. <laughs> yep. <laughs> because yeah, our like art GPU. is actually optimized. <laughs> yeah. Like the Unfortunately, GPU is our like netcode not, isn't. Yeah. So. GPU is like not taxing at all. It's everything <laughs> yeah. else that's just like big headache. I wonder how hard it will be in reality to take that power. Because it's, I mean, it's a really short path from the door, but it's a bunch of angles on it, so who knows? Uh, I imagine it'll be pretty simple. You just have to worry about getting shot from the back. Like, yeah, I mean, just, and like from that, bomb. that angle is going to be. But I guess that's make... like a really short time, but yeah.
That's a really tight angle. Thank Probably you. want to be closer to the door anyway. Could you make it a big door? Like one of those? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Oh, that's what you... Okay. Great minds think alike. <laughs> yeah, I'd already started doing it by the time you started asking the question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> from a bigger hole so it's harder to take so you can cover it from down here and shoot him in the butt control because like the this, real is a, this, this is a pretty straight shot so i'm just like yeah. i gotta make this more dangerous to get yeah. power because otherwise it feels like a free power and i'm just like eh. but yeah you can like cover it from office i think uh yeah probably but um oh yeah, yeah. you can cover yeah. if you barbed wire the shit out of that you can cover it from yeah. office have you ever thought of doing an in, an interior green fan? I hate green fans, by the way. Uh, I mean, I've done interior fans before, but they're really rare. They just don't make sense a lot of the time. Yeah. Like, sure, I could see myself doing that if... Um, so let's say I had a completely enclosed shelving. So like I'm, I'm just gonna do some drawing real quick so like let's say oops excuse me boiler is shelving so this this shape right here is shelving and then we have storage here we have toxic here in a big l shape and then we have like a z piece office like this so and then docks right so like this is mostly enclosed you have you still have this opening over here so like that's generally i would put a fan here or mm -hmm. some shit like that but like i could see a scenario where i have like like it, it's like this would have to be storage in order for it to work i guess or mm -hmm. like this would have to be storage because like you're asking me to put like i need an entrance here and then this needs to go into another room so like mm -hmm. it would have to be like that or like fan would be here and then there'd be an entrance into this room so you have like this double flow okay so like storage would have to lead up here to get into another I, I need a room that makes sense for the fan to be connecting to, which to me is like is storage or toxic or something. But um, I can't obviously can't put in toxic because the fences. So like that leaves storage. Storage to storage to shelving is the only place I can do interior green fan. Then I'd have to make that scenario happen. That's not a scenario that happens very often. I also don't think it's a very interesting. Like it could be an interesting use. Because this means that like defenders have to pre-shoot it out in order to walk through it, but once you open it, there's no shutting it, and you always have to crouch through it. It's like it's just a lot of like, is this worth doing? Like, sure, it gives you this open sight line you can shoot through, which is cool, but I mean, it's certainly possible. Oh god, sorry, yawn. We're almost done with this map, aren't we? Yeah, getting close. Storage is just like the most boring room to me. I hate it. <laughs> I mean, it's, in I general, I feel like Factory could could use a few more props and stuff to place everywhere. And it's not even that. It's just storage. Like, storage, I mean, storage is just, it's like, it's a servers, room that shit like, goes into. It's toxic, like... <laughs> it's office, like, all of those need more props. I mean, office can... has props, I just need to make more clusters for it. It needs more variation okay. in its clusters, because, like, I can just use props from, like, the C-Store C -store yeah. office, but, like, at the end True. of the day, like, I want factory office to feel like its own thing, instead of just being, like, oh, it's C-Store office, but in factory, so, like... The, the the revamp with uh, these sorry mm -hmm. the like when these turn into new things like I believe the idea is to uh, turn these into like little beep boop consoles and I think we're beep gonna boop. we're gonna potentially make like a little workstation that kind of sticks out from it so you could potentially have new cover there or like uh, this this area needs to feel more like its own its own thing rather than just being like oh I shove some C like there's no unique props for this room, right? Like, this is server servers. Like, then you, you'll occasionally get the... 
you get the ser like server servers are here. You get like C store props and uh, kill house props, and it's just like this place doesn't have its own feel. Mm -hmm. It certainly has its own gameplay feel, which is oh, you have a second store room that looks out over the level, but when it comes to how does this feel for uh, or how do the props in here make this room feel? It just feels like a C star room or a server room. Okay. So, right to into office. I mean, that's what you said earlier. So, yeah, whatever this one will do. Plus means you can. I like you can uh -oh. potentially open this door up, and yeah, I like shit like that. Anytime I can get somebody to open one of these and like do something cheeky, it's just like I, I approve. Yeah. Like, like there was one map where I put, um, I think, like I put a fan here. No, it was I put a fan here, and then I had a red door facing it. Mm -hmm. So it was like if they're going through fan, you could potentially o open up that door and then shoot shoot at the attackers on a line. But it was a really obvious play because they're right next to each other. I, I just re realized you could also do it the other way around. Like, if the attackers are breaching dock, you could jump out of office, pop around the corner, and shoot at them. Maybe. It's pretty risky. I, I wonder wait, if you wait. can make yeah. the full rotation, or if the like if the UAV is in a perfect placement, can you can you make the full like run out of office, jump into dock, or the other yeah, way around? Yeah, you can. Like, you can make you can do it the other way around. It's just it's super specific timing. Like, yeah, UAV basically has to be like this. So like as it's coming around, you're coming out and it doesn't see you, and this one is still coming around. So you have this really tiny window to poke your head out and shoot at them before running back in. Because like yeah, you, yeah, you, you that this is basically the time you're looking for is when the UAVs are opposite like this or or smaller. It just needs to have crested this side of the building. It's probably easier to do like a like it's, it's probably possible to do a full run out like going dock running out of dock and then going back into office. Yeah, it's the, probably the way to... how the UAV is rotating. Yeah, it, either way, like I, I want this to be. I like it when this thing happens. Yeah. Like when you you poke out of this to do a thing. Definitely, I think it's interesting. definitely interesting. interesting. By the way, this one is named Eastward Adder because Adder Eastward didn't make sense to me. <laughs> Okay, so now we have an adder going always into the east. Thank you, Diablo. Is this the midground with the immortal trash bag? I don't think it is. I'll hail the immortal trash bag. How hard would it be to fix that? <laughs> oh, super easy. But I, I, I just I, at, at this point, it's a, it's like a meme to me, and I love okay. it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, can't put it here. Just realized this is sticking off the map. Yeah, that's... That's too far south. Oh. I really wish we had more exterior props like this. Mm -hmm. Because, like, you end up with, like, three of the same thing in a row. Yeah. It just looks weird and repetitive. So, like, I wish I had more. But it's, like, there's so little value for me to actually take the time to make these things. Because they're never gameplay relevant. They just look yeah. pretty. And nobody really notices them anyway. Yeah, nobody looks outside. Like, inside, okay. but Yeah, it's like you're going to run by this once as an attacker. And that's it. Yeah. Okay. Um...
This is very important. Question is, do I want it here or here? I think I want it here. If you put it to the right, you get a nasty sideline. Too toxic. Should be better. It was more this sideline I was questioning if I wanted. No, that's fair. Not that it really matters, because you can still kitty corner it. But okay. at least you're at a sharper angle, and you're not preventing them from running around and getting set up. Because, yeah, like, if I had the door the other way... Yeah, you yeah. could just do this, and I'm yeah. like, I don't think I really want that. No. Now it's like you can still sit down here, but you're and shooting long at an angle. And long sidelines are fine, but maybe not that long. <laughs> yeah, like well, I, I, length, I assume but, yeah. if you're going this way, you're gonna fucking smoke because you're this. Is yeah, a, this probably. Is, this is a death. This is a death trap. Yeah, it's gonna be really hard to smoke from like back in storage. Like it's gonna be very easy if you. Yeah, I mean, you can set door. up like right here and then just yeet, give the old yeetus. Oh, that raises the question. Oh, you can see pretty deep in there. I'm wondering if I reverse this, if I pull him over and then have the door there. Mm. Yeah, whatever. This is a death trap anyway. This is this is yeah. like, hi. Do you wanna? Do you want me to give you? Do, can I make it any more obvious where you need to smoke? Yeah. Because I assume if you're going this way, you're trying to go into toxic to get the power. Yeah, or into. And if you're bomb, going this way, you're you can just go it. that way and bomb, I guess, yeah. I really wish I had a better way to get people into office. I wish I had the kind of the staircase we had at UPS that got us into the office. Like, I don't like that these staircases have to stick out like this. I wish I had like an office piece that basically allowed me to put the staircase right here. So like, st you know, staircase is right here and it goes, it goes up to the top. And like into the building? Into yep, the and room? then the door, yep, and then the doorway is right here. So like would this. that look from inside? Just like yeah, I'd there? need a custom. I would need a custom piece to do it, right? It would need to be. We'd have to redo offices again to make this happen. But like, this is more what I want because, like, I'm basically just adding a second perch whenever I put this thing out here, which I don't like. I want this to be where you're shooting out of, not here. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, and like in at UPS, like remember when I said the. The, the, the layout of that facility was like, it had that staircase that kind of went up like this. The server area was up here, and then you had an office over here, and then an office over here. Right, and then you had your, your staircase kind of like this. So you'd like yeah. go this little alleyway. So go the up staircase is your... enclosed from, by the yep. office. The staircase was kind of squished in this tiny little hallway, which I thought was, to me, is really tactically interesting because it's like, I actually replicated this when we still had ops offices. So I don't know if you're around early enough for those, but it was basically a true two floor office. I was. That I was making way back in the day. And uh, I actually had this staircase several times because to me it was very interesting tactically because it's like it's just this tiny ass little hallway, but like you bring a riot shield and you've defeated it. It's like you. And, but if you didn't have a riot shield, it was just a death hallway. Well, we don't have the riot shields yet, so. <laughs> yep. And that's why you don't really see them. But like that would that would be one thing I would super love to have for office would be the ability to have like that sunken uh that sunken doorway so you can like walk into the office, you know, like this rather than you know popping out of this. Because like yeah, it's like these two things like it look, it's defeated the purpose this this staircase has defeated the purpose of me sliding this thing over. Like, you can just stand here and watch this. Yeah, true. And then dip back in to take cover. Like, this is why I don't like it. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, you could stand right here anyway, but at least you had yeah. zero cover. It's like, this is, yeah, this is why I don't like these things. It's just a second perch. Yeah, true.
Is that enough? I mean, I guess. Nope. Because you can nope. stand. Well, you can stand on this and get their head. That's a pretty nasty. Yeah, it's Because you're going to be looking at it through this thing. <clears throat> might actually make it worse, yeah. You know? Uh, no. Did, yeah, <laughs> okay. It's pretty, yeah, it's hidden now. Yeah, that's, that's I better. didn't really, I didn't really want this. Mm -hmm. Because, like, now you have a dude to shotgun just sit here and burp, 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 and I, I mean, didn't want you could to just have that. make it shorter. I mean, I could, right? You could, I create another hole down here, and now you're just going to shoot up at them and hit them in the head. Um, uh, shop angle, but yeah, probably. Right, like that. I mean, you just, you just like wall bang it with a you just wall bang it with yeah. like Ross, dude, and you just fucking okay. waste them. True, but then you need someone who makes a call loud because I mean, you'd see the door open. Mm. Yeah, you see the door open. Well, I don't know. Could be interesting, actually. Like, ideally, if I was doing this room right, like, but actually, be this thing would actually continue. If I'm following the, my own mental rules, this would actually go all the way out here, mm -hmm. okay, and then term and then terminate, like it would come around like this. Because the way I want the room to work is that it, um, I think this means I can move this now, but I'm not sure. Uh, anytime, oops. anytime this touches a wall, there should be catwalks. Like that's kind of how I want boiler to work, like for consistency's sake. That way, if like there's another room over here like office like you can just wall charge into it or some shit like because the more consistent like the more consistency i apply to a room like the more low the easier it is for level gen to spawn it so if i tell it hey just slap catwalks up against the wall it'll do it mm -hmm. rather than going sometimes do it and then it gets really confused but then it just creates another another perch Okay, ch chat is going rogue. They're demanding more teleholes and DDR machines for this factory. Uh, you're not getting any teleholes. That's a <laughs> silly request. <laughs> I mean, so are DDR machines. That's why I said they're going rogue. No, that's not. not... Oh, no, 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 that's <laughs> happening. So sorry to disappoint. And now we're back to this problem again. God damn it, Pion. Eh. Level design is hard. <laughs> Guess what, door? I mean, yeah, you can move it over now Now that you move it. This is all I can do. This stairway. But now this whole, like, upper part of the stairway is useless, so I'll just use a different one. Mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> God, fuck you, light. I feel like lights are like my version of Anakin Skywalker's sand. <laughs> I just, I fucking hate lights because I always click on the, like this little thing, like mm -hmm. the, uh, okay. this little cookie that just like looks pretty and I always click on it or like I apply a texture to it. It's like, if, I don't know if you've ever seen it. No. Like when I, when I yeah, it looks funny. Just like, burp. <laughs> like there's times where I'll apply it to it and I won't notice until after the bake and I'm just like, oh no. Oh, da doom. It'll have to do.
it's a bit weird to have that staircase just like end I know. there without like it's just part of the consistency yeah it's just like it doesn't make much sense like i know why is that staircase even to be there and i hate that that view <laughs> that eyes, oh, eyes, I saw. yeah the eyes of one <laughs> so <laughs> it makes me cool. feel weird <laughs> Geo is also I mean, jet ah cursed view <laughs> yeah control oh, yeah, on the other yeah. end is like 2d 2.5d angles looks so good so i, I guess like people I, I, I just it feels off i don't know i feel like the angles are wrong or something i, mean, just, I don't know it just it just looks like an old school like it looks so old school to me and i love it like this looks like something you'd say if this was like 32-bit fucking like it was be like XCOM on a ps1 like yeah but shit. is it like it, are the angles like even correct because i don't think they are i mean i don't know i, I assume they're correct i'm not like it looks holding so strange it, i'm not holding it at like a very a, a particular angle like this is just the camera yeah Woo. it's i don't know it looks weird like move but it here's move the it. no okay here's kind of the Go problem on. with boiler though this is just shelving yeah that's true it's that's shelving with an shelving. island you can walk around on. Like, this is the thing I struggle with. Yeah, it doesn't... Yeah. I mean, everything Boilers, is shelving. Like, yeah. after assembling after assembling it and looking at it, I'm like, this is just yeah. shelving. Yeah. <laughs> everything, it's, everything's coming up shelving. It's, it's like how, how everything becomes craps over time. Every room becomes shelving. Basically. Every room evolves into shelving yep eventually it just becomes shelving and then all of it will be just shelving and Doc, duke is chuffing at the door must be somebody in the hallway oops all shelving oh i've is already done like... that i've already done oops all shelving yeah well not all shelving but like it was a big <laughs> shelving i think shelving. it had two fans that led into it Oh, it was like a fan here and then like a fan all the way over here. It was huge. Let's save this one. I guess he is he a good like an alarm dog who barks at everyone who wants to enter. It's huh? getting close. Is, he, is your dog like good at alarming you? I mean so. he 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 does and doesn't. Like there's times where like I can hear like I I like I can hear people in the hallway outside, but he doesn't do anything, but there's other okay. times where I can't hear shit, and he'll just be like, <laughs> or other times like now where he 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 actually started barking and I had to calm him, but it was just like, what are you doing, buddy? I can't like, what are you what are you alerting me to? Is there another dog out there that you can tell? Like I can't hear anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe he's not th looking for he sounds. Gets, maybe I he's looking for something else. Yeah, I think he's looking for something specific. It might be the yeah. jingle of keys. I think is what what triggers him, but I'm unsure. Potentially, I mean, you never know. It's also like dogs can hear a lot of stuff we don't, so who knows? Yeah. I think this one's okay. I'm just kind of doing a once over, looking at everything. Yeah, this is this is just shelving. Like, yeah, I, I don't I don't like this now because it's just, it's literally just shelving with the yeah. smokestacks. I mean, it's nice to use the smokestacks, but. It's I just yeah. well I wanted I wanted to I need more rooms that fit in this open like the big open area out front mm -hmm. but yeah this is just this is just like shelving with a thing in the middle like it might work Someone's... like boiler used to be in in storage like I'd convert storage to boiler room and that was interesting because it was like a one way rotate from ground level to either docks or office but so someone just suggested to add another way onto the boiler island. I'm not quite sure from where, but uh, he he wants it right here. Like the only place yeah. would be would I'm not gonna add a place to get up here because I want I want it to be important that you have office or you have mm -hmm. storage in order to access this thing. I don't want you to be able to just walk up here. Yeah, that makes sense. We could have like a weird connection from boiler to the central shelving unit, just for like fun. This, but yeah, like that. This that's a two F one, my dude. I ain't letting you up there. Yep. <laughs> oh, it's a two F one. Oh, right. Okay, <laughs> that would be, would be fun. Yeah, did it to block the sight line from like back here onto onto the door because it's too sharp of an yeah, angle. Yeah. But now you can just stand on docks. 
Oh wait, shit, that means I need to move these. But not on dock one. That was plural. No, don't block dog one. No, oh, we can't do the run out. I have, I know I have to now. <sighs> oh, God damn it. Okay. Seems to be one and four. Yeah, this feels good. Yeah, now if you're an attacker and you blow this open, it actually will give you all, you can actually clear almost all of, you can clear all of these catwalks and hold them. Uh-huh. So the only viable, like, hold location for a defender becomes behind this thing, which isn't useful to cover bomb. Because, like, you'd have to peek out here to reveal yourself to cover bomb, yeah. but you're just going to get blasted by the sniper, so. And you can still cover bomb from other locations, like over here. Or back here. Because they're not going to have, oops. You're not going to have like the sharp enough angle to, to clear it. There we go. Control wants a factory that has the entire south wall being docks. <laughs> I mean... Technically, level gen that? can do that, but it's just going to be a really tall factory. Uh, how many? What's like, the maximum number of docks? Uh, six. So you have six. one. You have a, you have a, you have a one and you have a two, a four, and a six variant. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. It picks from pre-made like pre-made shapes for that. It doesn't dynamically. You can never have like a three. Could it? Could you like? Could you rig it up to spawn multiple of those? Wait, wait, like spawn five, like uh, two sets of docks? Yeah. Yeah, but they wouldn't be numbered, like, oh, they wouldn't be numbered would be properly. Numbered one, two, like, three, four, I... one, two, three, four. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, they're not set up for it. Like, I could, okay. I could fix that, but I wouldn't be able to do it dynamically. Yeah. Like, all, like, all these stickers and stuff are, are baked in. I'm trying to decide if I want to slap a forky up here. I like forklifts on dock, even if they don't make sense. <laughs> I just want that that truck to move. No, I'm not going to move it. Uh, Cause I want to have at least two on here, and I can't. I literally cannot put one here here. Otherwise, you can cover that door, and that's gross. I do want you to be able to cover bomb, which is why you can take, you can hold this one and shoot the, shoot the dude here. Very cool. No run out this time, unfortunately. Sorry, this is just like OCD shit. I just don't like when these things are like on this corner. This looks weird to me. Cool. Yeah. I think we're done here. This is a bo boiler map. Not particularly enthused, just because after I got done, I realized it was just shelving. I'm just like, <laughs> oh, I've made shelving again. Congratulations. Just keep walking into the same trap over and over. Like, it didn't really click until I was like, well, if I was going to be do my consistency thing, it would need to be out here like this. Then it's just like, wait a minute. As soon as I did that, I was like, wait, this is shelving. Yeah. Like, inst like this would be an end cap. Like, it would be yeah. a tall box or whatever, and it yeah. feels fine then. But like like you said, it feels weird when it just ends. And I'm like, well, what if I had a tall piece? And I'm like, wait a minute, that's just shelving. Fuck. Ta da -dum. Yep. Wah, 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 wah. Everything evolves into crabs. All right, time to refresh. Let's we'll see if we can do a speed run. Speed run this next one. Actually, okay. no, we don't really have. We don't really have time. It's three forty, so I can't make a factory in twenty minutes. I could do a C store. Yeah, let's do a C store. I never made a C store. 
Because apparently Sandwich doesn't like sea stores. Say again? Last, Sandwich doesn't like sea stores, I learned last week. Interesting. They're really easy. I, I like them. Maybe that's why he doesn't like them. I don't know. Mm. I mean, I also have access to a magic wrapper that he doesn't, so... <laughs> okay. Oh, it looks like I need to plug it in. So let me plug this bitch in. It spawns under storefront. Oh, I think I forgot to turn it. Yeah. Oh, this is a good one, too. But I want... I want my subrooms. Give subrooms. Yeah, give subrooms, flicks. This is a good seed, though. Like, I would use this otherwise. Uh, lol, this thing just... <laughs> yeah, that's... So, like, That's... this is what happens when tile sets don't have a standardized number. Like, I know I heard mm -hmm. people bitching about, like, oh, you can't do that. Like, you can't standardize on this number because I have no room for barbed wire. And I'm like, you don't understand. If I don't standardize to a number, that shit happens because I've got yeah. things that are three wide and two wide and seven wide. And it just, like, let none of these rooms connect together properly. So you end up with just garbage. <laughs> yeah. This skylight sure like spawning. This is like the fourth time in a row it's picked it. I wonder if the That's a really weird placement for office. <laughs> yeah, it just like bolted directly <laughs> on the back of fridges. Oh, here we go. That looks decent. Well, uh, other yeah, see this is oh, what I mean. Like, for the see, arcade, this thing though. is off by one. Wait, that so arcade is actually not. Yeah, it's why is the arcade not? Is arcade not. Let's imagine that this to was too. Imagine this was too wide. Like uh -huh. arcade, arcade would have gone right here. Yeah. But instead, it's out the fuck here because nothing is standardized. <sighs> oh, I'm trying to decide if I want to keep this or not. I also don't like the freezer is just kind of over here behind fridges. But this is just kind of an unfortunate like thing with fridges is that freezer is basically always going to attach here. Yeah. Yep. See so that one's like all. What is that one looks weird? Doesn't arcade usually connect to storefront as well? It's not required to. It just spawns okay. whenever. Yeah, so just I, 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 this is like I keep seeing the storefront. There might be a okay. Here we go. It's a different like one. there might be something that's weighted incorrectly, and I uh -huh. might need to go investigate. The problem is, is that storefront doesn't have enough shapes, and I need to make more. Yeah. Okay. That's a big one. <laughs> this is a employees only bathroom. That's for yeah. sure. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. I kind of like this. I do too. Storefronts just really big and fridges. Yeah, is I guess. Cool. Yeah, fridges and storefront are a little. Fridges weird. doesn't really do enough. Yeah, like, it's that, just... uh, normally these, like the fridges, like the fridges room is the rooms are quite large, so you end up with this large wall of them, so you have a uh -huh. place to hide. But like, like that's really all I can do, and it's just like yeah, rah, and it's no different than freezer at that point. Yeah, that's that's true. I could I could keep it, but I'm just in the new regen because regen is cheap. God, oh, fucking freezer. It's just, it's this T piece, dude. Like, it just always yeah. does this. Like, I like this shape, don't get me wrong, but like, there needs to be more, like, more storefront out here and here. <laughs> yeah. Sea Star has some wild. Wait, I mean, I guess it's connected to the subroom stuff here right now, but this, there's some wild generations in here. Sea Star is incredibly chaotic. Yeah, see, like, it's, it's because solstice. nothing is standardized. Yeah. yeah nothing is standardized, and, and Sea Star suffers for it. I'm just going to turn off fridges and hand make it. This is ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, like, this is probably why Sando doesn't like Sea Star, is because it's so wild. Like, these yeah. tiles need to be standardized on twos or, four, uh, twos or fours, preferably twos. Isn't it yeah, probably twos right for Sea Star, I would agree. And this is not. Terry bad. It's not but... terrible. I would put a doorway here. Yeah. This, and then it's red door it. I actually kind of like this. Yeah, I like yeah, this. Yeah, that's, right that's here. a cool part for sure with their shutters over there. It's going to be hard to make rotations though because Storefront completely splits the map. 
Yeah, I don't give a shit about that though. Okay. <laughs> you're gonna have so many sightlines on bomb that and if they push you freezer you just fall back to arcade or maybe the other way around if they push you in arcade you just pull here i don't know and the big I issue is like i, I have they... to convert these walls anyway so let's not keep yeah. that one okay I, I do like the employees only bathroom that, that's mm -hmm. what kicks it yeah see <laughs> like just nothing lines up dude and it's really frustrating <laughs> Because, <laughs> like, this this 3x3 three three wasn't able to slot into the 2x2 two two over here. Yeah. And it's just all bad. Like, Sea Star is the most chaotic generation. I might use this one just because I'm tired of generating. Uh, uh, the mini arcade. Yeah, little baby arcade. I like how Office starts. Like, it actually kind of fits together back there, but. Yeah, I'll keep this one. Fuck it. Yeah, it's. I mean, it at least makes sense um it's a bit weirdly shaped but i like weird shapes come on yeah that's fine you like green red red or some shit like that i like green red red something like that oh uh, yeah probably because i'm gonna have no this is gonna I'll be the go green door bomb <laughs> <laughs> no, i'm probably put bomb like right here and then have all of these rooms look onto it. Bathroom is a little... I mean, I guess if you give it a door, it's fine. Yeah, it'll, be, it'll be fine. It, it'll be a red it's door. Just an entrance. You, 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 take, you take that to specifically take that room. I'm probably yeah. going to put power... I don't know where I'll put power. I might put a freezer. Like, top right-hand corner freezer, like, up here. Because I'm going to have office go into our... Office will go into arcade and tellers. So what are we doing with Shed? Shed's gonna be a pass through that leads into Freezer. Okay. So you'll you'll go like this. Yeah. Like so green, you move the here exterior. You here. So you remove the exterior door. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So it'll, it'll, the rotations will be green door here, and then you mm -hmm. go like this, or mm -hmm. you can go like this, and then there'll be a door here. Door here, easy. <laughs> okay, speed run. <laughs> yep, it, it's general. I got two more, two more gen steps to go through. And oh then, right, right. And then I'm waiting for the another generation. Yeah, sea stars don't take How much, how much does sea, sea star spawn? Uh, the most. The, the reason it's taking so long is storefront because it's so fucking big. Okay. Does it spawn lots of stuff in the other rooms as well? It, it spawns some stuff, but not much. Okay. Like the wrappers are pretty simplistic. It's just the storefront has very complicated wrappers that I'll, I, I honestly need to just be called. I just need to remove them and make them simpler. Okay. Because, like, again, C store just needs to be the the tile size standardized so shit fits together, and then the I need to find a better way to spawn storefront. So, like, yeah, I want to see more things like shelving and tellers, like subroom. It like I basically want to break it down to subrooms. Yeah. Um, Santa Rogers asks how the teller hole gets generated. Is that just like a It just gets placed. It's somewhere? Random. Like it's just random? Yeah, it okay. just picks a spot and goes, here you go. You can technically put it anywhere. It's the same for the door, I assume. Oh, uh, yeah, it just picks a spot. I'm probably going to put the door over here. Did you ever made... Did you ever make a teller that had two doors? Like yeah, two I've made doors? them three. Ooh. <laughs> like, just because it was such a big island teller. Yeah. But yeah, like, I could, I could yeah, easily you could put, put one, one here and have it be a pass through. I just don't want to. It's more interesting if it doesn't to me. Okay. But yeah, it's like asking, have I, have I made Arcade have two entrances and exits? Yes. I mean, having two entrances and exits in teller is not uncommon because sometimes there's a green door, but... I was just wondering about the yellow door. Yeah. I like that little arcade though. It feels cozy. Yeah, just a little tiny one. Can we can we slap a couch in there? <laughs> Nothing. 
Probably not mm, I'm gonna space. rip all this out and then just put like one unit in the middle, so oh, you okay. actually have cover. So like, if you open the yeah, door, yeah, that makes more sense. I mean, it looks more cool this way, but yeah, gameplay oh, wise, know, it's probably better. Gameplay too. wise, I have to change it. Yeah, because yeah. it's just a yeah. useless. Like, it could yeah. be interesting because like, if they hit you from behind, you're just kind of fucked in here. But <laughs> like, this is just CQC hell if you go into this room. Like, good luck dealing with the shock of the na the knack, or, like pocket shotgun mm. from the dude in here. I mean, that's the point. Like how I'd play this room is it would I'd bring the pocket shotgun on like a Lagrasse or an Ingmar. You just sit in this room and cover bomb because I can put mm. bomb over here somewhere. And then if you get pushed from behind, you just flip around, pull out the pocket shot, and just blow, hit him in the face. Yeah, so something simple like that. Not much going on. Not really much I can do. So this is so small. It's like I either slap shit on the walls and it's not relevant, or I put something in the yeah. middle and it is relevant. Yeah. It's it. By the way, it's always funny to me if I see, especially like on a DPL match or something, I see a map that we made together on stream. So I was like, yeah. oh, I remember that one. <laughs> it's just I mean for you that's probably like you, you made all the maps right oh, well yeah. all the half the maps so uh, it's not special to you but for me it's it's a uh, it's a reminder of the streams so. it's like every time a factory comes up it's just like yep I made that yeah <laughs> oh I need to do post room real quick Apparently it didn't run because you'll notice there's no, there's none of the like little girder pieces. You know the red and gray. Yeah, those. There we go. There we go. Do I have lights? Nope. I no see lights. some. Let there be lights. Let there be lights. Lights would be important. There we go. There we go. Put your trash somewhere else. Now it's clipping through. There we go. I hate these red ones. They're so disingenuous. Like, I understand why they're there. It's to tell people that you can door charge this, but yeah. you can't enter. It doesn't yeah, work it's... that way, and it pisses me off. Yeah. Like, it's just a really shit consistency. Yeah, it needs a special indicator, and that should be the it same just one needs, as it, it needs a mouse. It needs a mouse over tooltip. Yeah, also that. A yeah. lot of these problems could be solved with a mouse over tooltip, but that's such a big ask. Yeah. Just like, what is this object? How do I interact with it? Because it's like, I can only put so many... So many colors on a map before it gets super confusing. Like, the ideal solution to this is, like, if the sea store shutters are up, it's just a blue window. But if the sea store shutters are down, like, it looks it looks like a wall. With a, you know, with the gray topper on it. Like, that's how it should look. Mm -hmm. But, like, that requires us to, like, rig two different states that, like, flip as soon as the thing hits down or up state. I don't know how to, like, rig that with an animator. Wait, why are you flipping the door? Up so, the if I'm... If I flip... So, there's something wrong here. Tell me what it is. The uh, lights are on the inside. Oh. Right. And these are per If these are permanent lights, they will bake onto anything. And even if you turn the lights off, this will be burned into oh. the ground. Like this Okay. Is it's because it's supposed to be exterior, and you can't shoot that light out cause, because yeah. it's exterior. So, yeah. like, if I just reverse this, what happens? The, the lights are outside, but the, the walls are wrong. Yeah, yeah. so I just... Exactly, so that's what I did, is I fixed it by just... I rotated it first, then ro rotated then this the, the, to get the texture on the right side. The texture, yeah. And then I... Whoop. Okay. okay. So now we have our, our exit sign proper, and we've got the light on the outside. 
So yeah, that's why I did I did it over, I did it on this one too. But yeah, that's mm -hmm. why. So there's actually fun fun trivia time. Uh less fun, more annoying. But these lights actually used to bleed through the walls. No. And you had to like every time I placed one of these doors, I had to like go into this light and like you know, move <laughs> it around so it wasn't shining through a wall. Yeah, I see. Otherwise when you turned the lights out it would like just bleed through the wall. Talon Fortune or Fortune Talon? Let chat figure it out. For the name of the map. Right, I'm actually gonna make a poll because I learned that Nightbot can do a poll. It all it only creates a straw poll, but which I could do by hand, I guess. But <laughs> since we have it, I tried to use it. Tail and fortune or fortune tail. There we go. I think I think I can do this. All result. No. Oh results. Almost. Will you put more cover into Teller? Mm. Why? It's so empty. So? I, mean, I guess it doesn't really need cover, but... It's supposed to be cover. To here. If you breach it from the back, that's where it's supposed to be weak. That's true. You ready for the magic cluster? Because I'm going to fucking use it. <laughs> if I ever do a fucking G G or no, what is it? A GDC talk, I'm talking about the magic cluster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the shit is just so good. Yeah, people don't even... I don't even know where that is a thing. It's but... like that, that stupid meme with the guy standing in the corner, and it's just like they don't know about the magic cluster. Mm-hmm. I literally use this thing all the time. I know Sandwich uses it all the time, and like nobody knows. It's just like bare minimum office. It's like you slap this in like this shape room, and it's like, here you go, enjoy your enjoy your firefight. Yeah. So did you did, this... you did I see this correctly that you put two teller holes into teller? Yep, I added a second one nice. specifically for control. Chat is very happy about that. <laughs> yep, I added another one for control. I'd add more, but I can't. Like these, these corner pieces are one solid object. So yeah, I can't add them here. Take, yeah. So yeah, you have two teller holes now. Enjoy. I like I like having more teller options. Oop, hold on. I saw that. Get out of here. Uh, no, yeah, two buttons would be weird. <laughs> That's probably why you don't see more of them. So we have four votes for Tail and Fortune and two for Fortune Tail. So I guess we go for Tail and Fortune. All right, cool.
Yeah, see, look how easy that room was to organize. It's one piece of cover, and then I added this for decoration, and it's like, all right, cool. Room done. Like I deleted that one thing and Unity hung. Unity doing Unity things. Yep, hashtag just Unity things. This is destroyed. This is cute. I don't remember making this. I think I made this. I just don't remember making this. Who fended this? I wonder if Fickle did that. Okay, this room feels nice. I didn't even have to do much. I just like dragged the shelf over and called it a day. This is actually kind of funny. They're both in the room. Hi, would you like a hand dryer in your fucking bathroom? <laughs> just, in just in case. <laughs> oh, that's fun. The spacing just winds up being kind of comical. Almost done. Is there a magic cluster for bathroom as well? Nope. It's funny because I actually copy. I copy pasted. Uh, there's a. Let me just do it. This cluster is so good, I made it Oh, twice. wait, it's actually called Magic Cluster? This one is. Oh. This is the Kill House version. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, see? Same Yeah, yeah I know that one. Yeah, like, it's just so good for this room size. It's just like instantaneous, instant, instant room. And everything's lined up properly. So I can, like, dump a door. I can dump a door right here if I wanted to, and you can already path through it. And it's interesting because, like, there could be a dude here or here. You have to worry about that. Or it's like, you know, I put a door here and it's like, well, there could be a door dude here, here. Like, it's just, ah, it's so good. Um, Snarms asks if you can put a small window in storefront next to bathroom. No. Oh. <laughs> I don't think we have small windows in the storefront, right? No. Correct. Oh, I need my map overdraw. Okay, I fixed shed, did the doors, added the red. Let's add a third bag of ice. Let's just do it right here. Go more cover and freezer. Okay, I think we're done. All right. Oh no, power, power. Oh yeah. Didn't even Good. spawn. Good call. <laughs> I 
I know where I know where this is gonna go, but where does where does chat think I should put power? I I fucking know where this is gonna go though. Let me let me actually activate the click you, map. Yeah. Let me kind of get a, a better let me get top down. You can click yep. on the stream now. All right, here I'll just flatten it so it looks weird. See if I actually if it works. Where should I put power? I feel like Dora the Explorer whenever I do this. See, I don't see anything yet. Not ah, there, no, it's working. Okay. Most blips are in chat so far. One of them is in... If you're in office... Yeah. But most, most of them in chat. Yeah, that shed was exactly where I thought people were going to go, so. People like shed power. This particular map, I don't like, I'm not really comfortable with putting power in shed just because, like, it's hard to hold as a defender. So, like, if the attackers end up taking it, yeah. like, how the fuck is a defender supposed to put, if they take storage, how the fuck are they supposed to stop this push? Yeah, that if, would be If a really Freezer easy was right power. here... So if Freezer yeah. was right here and you could shoot straight down this line, I would absolutely put power in here. Okay. But it's just, it's so hard. Or like if the shed came out one more, like this, I could put it right here and you could shoot from this angle. But like all it takes is an attacker to stand right here. I put power there and they just sit here and watch and you're just going to get fucking blasted every time as you as you peek out. Mm. So we, we're hearing a lot of shed, couple for office. Yeah. I was actually thinking like arcade like right here by the door, but I could do it in office. Could put it like here again up against yeah, the back exactly wall. Yeah, that's exactly where I put it. Yeah. See, my problem with like I'll put it here, but like it's also a little too close to tellers for me cuz like this is very high value cuz you have both this and this ne basically next to each other. Mm -hmm. But if I put it in arcade, it's like line of sight to bomb. So you can just hit power, then go warrant. Yeah. So. Let's put it up here. In the magic cluster. Yeah. I love the magic cluster. He's so good. Now the arduous task of, I don't actually know if I can place truck on this map. Uh-oh. Because yep. I can't put him here. Yeah, shed, green door. Can't can't put him here because you can just rip. Yeah. Can't put him over here. Same issue. Yeah. Can't I can't can't do this. Same issue. I can't put him anywhere down here. Mm-hmm. Just put him far. Uh, what was the what was the ultimate thing again? Was it Talon Fortune? Uh, yes. Okay. So that was a like what twenty minute C store. Yeah, so do we just accept it, the truck there or I, I'm well I'm gonna have I have to spawn the mid ground. Oh okay. Like it's it's thinking. Uh, doing, that was about doing... twenty minutes, yeah. I think even a little yeah, less. See, like, but we we're not done yet, but Yeah, C stores don't take me that long at all. Yeah. Like I can make C stores pretty I can make them all day, I can make them real fast. Uh okay, he fits on the mid ground just barely. Like it's way easier when there's less custom stuff to make. Yeah, obviously. Oh, <laughs> don't lead the whole mid ground. It's it's all dead. You have to remove those, like on the south, the ones. Yeah, I'm gonna just move the whole level down. Okay. Well, yeah. can you actually get to the shadows now? Remember, there's like a whole sidewalk and street out here. Oh yeah, right. That's accessible, right? Even like, though it's I not can... part of the yeah, mid yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. And if I ever have any doubts, right, like, mm -hmm. I just do this. Love thinking. Yeah, just slap it in there. Ignore the UI, lol. <laughs> but yeah, like, I can just slap the background scene in there and take a look. Yeah. And just be like, oh yeah, yeah this is fine. totally accessible. Yeah, okay. I wish so there was like a barricade down here or some shit so I could put the car down here. Let me just remove this. Uh, uh, don't save. Yeah, this is going to be a bitch and a half to fucking 
put the car. Wait, no, I guess that's not. Hmm. C store is by far the hardest part, yeah. the hardest tile set to place the door on. It has no good way to put I it. I could really. potentially put, I could shift this over here, but this uh -huh. means you could shoot, you could do this. Yeah. Which I mean, if I they're mean, approaching from north, that's not going to give you much. So it doesn't matter. I'm going to do that because I can, I can that remove. Seems like the best. I can remove that line of sight. That's also true. Yeah. Slap a box truck in here and call it a day. Go we'll use the U Haul one. No Kenneth Futureman today. Is he correct? Okay. Okay, now I just moved the door. I guess, yeah. Oh, door and window, that makes. <gasps> Why is that Pivo so far away? <laughs> it's because it's center. Like I have center to use, I can't use I can't use pivot. I have to use the center of the two objects that I'm selecting, and because level it's trying to use this zero zero of the scene when oh. walls get placed, it sets it to that. It's just fucking weird. Okay. Uh, what happens when you place the truck outside the midground? Can you even do that? Uh, I, yeah, I can technically do that. It'll just bake really weird. Okay. What do you mean by weird? Uh, lighting will be all fucked up inside the truck. Oh, oh, okay. So, or at least I think I'd have to actually ask Bickle if I can do that. But I mean, I can't do it on this tile set. If yeah, I put it, it over here, help much. it just like, like, <laughs> yeah. I've I've actually attempted to do that before, but I had to like put like a million box trucks out there, and it looked more like an apocalypse scene, which I guess it wouldn't be the end of the world, but <laughs> uh, ironically, that statement. Yeah, that was. <laughs> well, I guess technically you could still make a run out and throw something, yeah, but it's, it's going to be really tricky. Uh, I mean, I don't care if you can throw it. I literally yeah. do not care. If okay. we wanted that fix, the, the uh, yeah. there's only so much I can do. Like I can yeah, prevent yeah. runouts. I can yeah. prevent that. Well, quote unquote prevent. I can make it less possible, but like I, I'm not the one who can fix throwing things over these levels. Yeah, that's that's got to be that's got to be a trophy system or something in the truck. Yeah. Before Ozzy yells at me. Because he'll say he can get back in the truck. Oh. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> what is that doing there? Mm, just a little barricade. Cab is an asshole parked in the hand handicap spot. <laughs> Maybe the driver's handicap. We don't know here. Yeah, you, cool. it might be. Here we're done. Awesome. See, speed speed ran that C star like crazy. Yeah, on, that, only like that was fast. Over. It took. I think it took me longer to get the placement of the truck than it did to make the level. No, nah, that's that's not true. But it felt like it. It felt like it. Yeah. It felt like it to me. I, I hate trying to place the truck. It's like the, my least favorite part about Sea Store. Making the level's fine, but like when it's like, well, I can never place it south of the building. And if I have a shed, it's like, well, I can't place it on that side of the building either, unless it's a fuck you shed. Yeah. Uh, fuck you shed being where it's like, it's just there. Or it's like a red door one. So it's less likely, but even still, you're like, a, if I leave a line of sight, like they're going to take advantage of it. But whatever, we're done here. Congratulations, we made a we made a C store. So you can look Yay. forward to this C store. It's the the one and only Axum C store in rotation right now. Actually, that's not true. I think I have like three in rotation right now. Yeah.
You did some. But look, with, uh, you, you can cover bomb from one, two, three, four other rooms. Uh, yeah. uh, uh. It might actually be a bit hard to to storefront push here. I mean, you can still storefront push like this. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, I mean the double still... teller hole will oh, be a pain too. Yeah, yeah, double teller hole, be and you can also get clipped from the side. Yeah. You could like this dude in bathroom can just chill here and just take pot shots at you as you defuse. Dude yeah. in arcade can literally sit in this back corner and take pot shots at you. It's like this is when I said I want to buff every room. This is what I meant. I want you to have to think if you're gonna do this rush, you need to figure out how you're gonna yeah. maintain these lines. Right? Like it's still vi it's still viable. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, you need to think because yeah. none of you can't flashbang all of these rooms with one flashbang. Yeah. No, you have to. You need a plan. I want Which you to have to think want. about how you're, if you're making doing a storefront rush, it needs to be beyond blow open door here, go. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I wish we I, we saw more like you know the attackers are out here, so you just raise these preemptively, and then you just waste them from the teller holes in the bathroom. You know what I mean? Like it's like oh we heard their footsteps, raise the windows really quick, shoot at them, mm -hmm. then lower it again. I want to see yeah. more shit like that. People are saying green is a good entry on this map. I'm tend no. to agree. Yeah, green. It's a decent echo play. Green's usually pretty good, but yeah, green's decent. Gets you to freezer real easy, and mm. it gets you to power. Like yeah, it's really it's power, it's, and to teller. Like it's really strong. You like you'll notice like in a lot of C store maps that I make, I I will put power. Like you'll notice I like to put power near green because I like to give incentive to go the green route. Mm -hmm. Because like the red like the red door solutions here are clear is I don't want to push through yeah. shed, I want to easy access to freezer to clear this yeah. out because it gives you access to the line of sight that's gonna you know get their cover like they're gonna take cover behind this this gives you the ability to clear that out and then bathroom it's like well I have no other, no other way to clear out this line of sight I want to clear it is what that room gets you yeah. and then green it's like yes it gives you power it gives you tellers it's very valuable you could potentially wall free. charge arcade to clear that out if you really wanted to. <laughs> what charge arcade? Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Like I said, if you really wanted to, I don't yeah. particularly think it's a strong play, but like yeah. you could. If you like, if this dude, if this ends up being a really strong position, you can... the power of tiny rooms. Clearly, yeah. I just turned this into a pillbox. <laughs> would feel a little bit out of it place. Would be an, it would be an inverted kill box, though. Like, I would actually put the pill... The uh, the entrance would be here, and then I'd put the windows on the corners like this. Mm -hmm. So it would see into all these three rooms. So it's like, mm -hmm. if you want to go green, you have to fuck with this, but... All right, that's... Uh, just run the loadouts tab one more time, and we're good. The only other question I have is, does chat actually want a pillar or something in Teller? Because I'll add one. I like it open, but I will add something if chat thinks it's a good idea. And then we can call it. Oh. Some want, some want to pillar, some don't. <laughs> so, uh, I didn't understand what you just said. Well, it's two for two to one right now. Two two one oh for wait what? Yeah, for pillar or not? Uh, it's, I guess most people want a pillar. It's only Snarms who doesn't want one. I think. I'll add a pillar. Wait, do I have a pre-made one? <laughs> Put a car in storefront. <laughs> yes. That's <laughs> N no, because the lights on the cars will fuck yeah. with the bake. It would be like fun the, though, these... like a car that crashed into storefront. <laughs> I mean I I know. Trust me, there's rare spawns for this. But it's so rare it's never come up. Wait, do we have a rare spawn for a Don't car? Don't worry that about it. I'll, I'll, show, I'll show you I'll show you after. Okay. I don't I don't reveal rare spawns on stream. Come on now, at least not on this one. <laughs> you have to go to the boosty stream for that one. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I, I do show the the rare stuff there. No, this is Wait, walking fan. What is walking fan? Oh, it's that thing. Uh, we don't I don't have a pre-made pillar, so I'll just make one. Pillar C store. Here you go, chat. Your very own pillar. For all you JoJo fans out there, your pillar man. All right there, you go. I 
keep my roofs nice and tidy, okay? Even if you're never up here. Alright, that's it. All done. Alright. Well, let's call it a day then. Yeah, we're only 20 minutes over. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So yeah, um, we'll end the stream here. Uh, there will be another Making Map stream tomorrow. As usual with uh, Sandwich and Smith. Probably making kill houses. Maybe some yeah. stores. Who knows? And then there will be community hours Wednesday. This time without a guest. And Tuesday and Thursday late. The dev team practice. As usual, the schedule is also linked below and in other places. So, And we're gonna raid Diagra. So say hi to him. And uh, see you Wednesday, I guess. Yep, and as always, I usually do my boosty streams really late. I might not end up doing it today, but uh, oh. we'll see. Uh, just because I may have somebody over, we'll see. Okay. I mean, but, uh, it's still worthwhile yeah, we'll... to boost our server, so you get yep. into the boosty stream. I, I might do it Tuesday or when Wednesday. I might do it a different day, but stream something other than level creation. I might do, like, make a cluster or something, because that's easier to do hey. via stream than... Uh... Like over, over like the. Or it's easier to do it like this rather than taking suggestions from Discord. Yeah, stream okay. is the superior way. But yeah, so I'll catch you everybody next week. It was fun hanging out. Bye bye. Later. Thirty-nine. Seventy-five francs.